Hello Twin Flames and welcome to the Divine Masculine reading for Monday. Now this is going to be a very, very powerful week for the masculines because the moving into the energy of the holidays, December's busy, there's craziness, there's chaos, there's slamming of doors and breaking of plates and all kinds of crazy things going on behind closed doors in karmic situations because there's frustration there. And I'm going to be talking more about this today in the Daily Twin Flame reading and as we do a DM to DF reading later. But right now I want to check in with the energy that they are in and experiencing as they awaken to this brand new day. And they're giving me a block in the throat chakra. They know they want to communicate, explain themselves to you. So what are they really going to be doing about this? So thank you, angels. What's going on with the Divine Masculines today? Thank you. Lighten your load. And we've also got freedom. Wow. So the message coming through is, you know, to lighten the load in their life. You know, when we carry around a load, it's like carrying around baggage, burdens, struggles. It's like when Jesus carried the cross with the weight of the world on his shoulders. And to lighten that load, he had to be crucified. So the masculines go through all this chaos and pain. So they can surrender to what is. And they are finding their freedom. So they are moving towards a new beginning where their load will lighten and they will be free. So I'm really seeing this as moving towards freedom, ready to lighten the load, ready to give the burden to heaven, to stop trying to just live. And now they need to live. There's a difference between the words live or live. You know, when we live, we can just be surviving. When we live, we thrive. So it's about moving towards a living energy. Your masculine is a living, breathing being. Just like you, Divine Feminine, he chose to come to experience everything in a physical way. And the masculines learn from their physical situations. The feminines are more spiritual because you are more tapped in with the spiritual side of things. So you learn through your spiritual experiences. That's why as a Divine Feminine, we have so many aha moments and awakenings and realizations along the way because we connect with source we receive signs and symbols and synchronicities and we're very tapped in with all of that and we have experiences that blow our mind in that spiritual way whereas the masculines go through all these burdens and struggles and experiences that make them realize they need freedom they want to feel light they want to simplify their life they want to feel better and right now they're in this energy of pain, you know, of pain in the physical self because they've been carrying around so much burden. So the masculine is taking control. So you can see that here. First of all, I'm feeling that he's come down to earth. You know, he's, he's come to earth, the earthly realm, to grow and to experience a lot of light and pain and struggle, you know, and to get knocked down. Look how he's kind of punched over so he can stand back up and be free. And the feminine is where the freedom is. You know, you give your masculine all of this freedom. With you, he feels free. So if you're burdening him and pressuring him and, you know, constantly trying to force things to happen, he doesn't feel free. You know, he needs the freedom, which means the time, the space and the room to do this his own way. And then he's proving to himself on a soul level that he is free as a bird, that he can do this, that he is capable of doing this himself without you having to help him or rescue him in any way. So it's like he's saying, I see you and I know you and I know you're the answer. And I know that everything you've told me along the way is the truth. But I need to be the one to open the door of the cage and walk through it. I need to be the one to move through that doorway. I need to be the one who lightens the load. You know, you could be trying to help him in all ways, Divine Feminine. We've all been there. Let me give you this word of advice. Let me help you out with money. Let me be there for you. And he has to lighten the load himself. He has to be the one to take the action step. That's why he's come. Otherwise, he's not going to grow. That's why separation occurs. That's why divine intervention can send in that or send in a block. Because without that, we don't surrender. And when we surrender as a divine feminine, then the masculine steps up as a divine masculine. So when the feminine steps out of the way, the masculine steps forward. That's why when you stop chasing, the masculine stop running because there's nothing to run away from. The masculines run away from pressure and the knowingness inside that without their own 
activation without their own growth why, why have they come you know they have to do it their way they have to do it themselves it's like you can take a, a horse to water you can't make it drink another great way is this you know if you're teaching someone to ride a bike you know maybe you're teaching your child how to ride a bike or you're teaching someone else there may be stabilizers on that bike the stabilizers stop you know the bike from going fast it stops them from being a falling off the bike you know it just creates a stable environment for growth but at some point the stabilizers are going to have to come off that bike and the person on the bike is going to have to go their own way and do it themselves and that's really what the family needs to realize we can keep holding on and helping and being there but we are the stabilizer and when we are moving back or taking that step back then the masculines can really thrive and live and be their own self and do it their own way and that's what we need to do we need to be you know brave and take off the stabilizers which may mean taking that step back and when we take that step back it can be scary but it's so worthwhile when the masculines move forward so that's what i'm seeing the masculine is determined to find their freedom to lighten their load they are being guided to do this this is what they are wanting and it's hard right now because a lot of the masculines can't do it right now because of their 3d reality because there's christmas coming up they may have children or obligations or financial concerns but this is why 2023 is going to be so powerful because it's the year where things change the year of communication the year where they prepare for the truth and they may have wanted this at other New Year's energies, but the time is now. You know, they may have wanted it, but not been able for whatever reason to put it into practice, mainly because they were still learning. They still have lessons to learn. You might think, well, this is how I felt last year, but then it didn't happen. Well, there were still lessons to learn. You have to see past the ego. The ego wants everything right now. The ego is like a child getting angry and frustrated and throwing the toys out of the pram if they don't get it what they want. And you, you know, you're not a child. You are this evolved being. So sometimes we have to reparent ourselves in that way and say, it's okay. Everything's here now. You are safe. You are loved. You were protected. So the mask is saying to you, thank you for giving me the time, space and room and the freedom I need to do what I need to do. This is a message to trust him to find his freedom and to find his way. Because when he finds his freedom, guess who's there waiting? You. And that doesn't mean you're waiting around. It means you're loving life. But you will be the, you know, you'll be the reward. You're going to be the reward for all the hard work. This is when, you know, if you give yourself a reward, maybe you do some work and you think, right, when I've done that, I'm going to treat myself to something. I'm going to have a piece of chocolate or a cup of tea or I'm going to buy myself something from the shop. The reward that the masculine gives himself is you. Isn't that beautiful? I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.